Hello our most valued student, my name is Confident. Welcome to the revision of the Mathematics N1 question paper which was written in November 2020. So in this particular question we are looking at question 2 and the aim of this particular um, of these particular revisions is to give you some ideas and some strategies that you can use as you prepare for your Mathematics N1 exams or maybe you want to lay foundation for maybe mathematics n2 or n3 or any other math i will encourage you to go through this uh, lesson and also remember whatever i'm using here i have already covered it in the test book that uh, i have written which is called mathematics n1 for the underdogs where you find all these um concepts intensively covered so if you want to understand further this particular subject of mathematics n1 I will encourage you to grab hold of that test book. It also comes with videos which makes it easier for you to understand. Now let us look at question 2.1 and it says in this particular question you were required to add the expressions and they have given you the two expressions which is that. Uh, let me expand. It says we must add the expressions and you can see these are the two expressions that were given. Now, if I can write them down, remember the word add means um, a plus sign. So we are supposed to add, in this case, x squared plus 3x minus 1. And we are supposed to add, which is plus, in this case, and we're supposed to add it with 4x squared plus 3x plus 2. Now, just to check the mark allocation, it was out of 3 marks, this particular question. Uh, so, it is a good um, way of getting all your marks in this particular uh, algebra because what it simple needs is for you to just understand the basis of algebra. Now, when you are adding these, what it simply requires for you to do is to look at the like terms. Now, the like terms in this case, we are looking at the exponents. For example, the x squared is similar with the next x squared. So you are going to be adding that. And the 3x with the other 3x and the number with the other number. So if you can start collecting the like terms, we have got x squared and then you have plus the other one there is 4x squared and then we have plus the other one there is 3x and we have plus the other one there is 3x and we have minus the other one there is a 1 and then we have plus the other one there is a 2. Just look at what I've just done. I've just collected like terms. So with algebra, when you are given x squared, it means there is a silent number as 1 there. So what are we doing is we are adding the first 2. When you are adding the first 2, what you just need to do is to consider the numbers. We've got 1 and 4, which means we are saying 1 plus 4. And 1 plus 4 is 5. So I will have now, in this case, I will have 5. I just maintained the exponent, I mean the, the unknown, which is x squared like that. And 5 is called the coefficient of x squared. And then again, I've got plus. I have to add 3 and 3. And 3 plus 3, it is 6. And then again, I maintain the coefficient, so which is... I mean, I maintain the unknown, which is x. So the coefficient of x now is 6. Again, the next one is minus 1 plus 2. You can use a calculator there, which is plus 1. So basically, it is all that they wanted you to prove there, that your basic mathematic, uh, your basic math in algebra way. Do you know how to add algebra? That's what they wanted to check. And with that, they gave you three marks, which was just a given for that. Let us move on to question 2.2. We are supposed to simplify that particular expression and this is 5 marks and the total was 8 marks, meaning this question had only 2 
uh, question two had only two questions. And if I can expand, remember it's five marks, which is good. And we are supposed to simplify that. Now, if you look at this particular uh, question carefully here, we have got some brackets. And what is interesting, it's just a continuation of the previous question in a way what they require you to do. But now it's even um, you including now some brackets and some multiplication. Now we are simplifying. Now the first bracket, if you look at this particular two and the bracket there, it means two will multiply, meaning you have to open the bracket and the two will multiply the next and the two will multiply the next. So what you are having is you are having two times five x squared plus two times, as I told you, if it's x like that, it's one x. And then again, you have got plus two times, and then you've got minus six like that. That's the first part. And then you move on to the second part again, minus three will multiply that minus three will multiply that and minus three will multiply that so we are having minus three times x squared meaning it's one x squared and minus three times minus one x and minus three times minus three in all this your calculator is your go to guy so now in the first one, I'm going to be multiplying 2 times 5. You know that 2 times 5 there is 10. So I'll write 10 and maintain my unknown there, which is 10x squared. The next one is plus 2 times 1 is 2, and my unknown is x. Plus, but now if you see carefully, if I say 2 times minus 6, uh, 2 times negative 6, it gives me a negative 12. So I'll I don't have to add now, I can write my negative 12. I continue, minus three times one, it is minus three. Uh, I just uh, maintain my, in this case, let me maintain my pen. My color is negative three, which is x squared. Now, minus three times minus one, you, I think you know in general, a negative times a negative is a positive. In this case, minus 3 times 1 is a positive 3. So it's plus 3, but remember the unknown is x. Minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9. Now this is similar, as I said, to the previous one where now we need to collect the like terms. So you can see, uh, focus on the on similar items. I have got, uh, this is equal to, I have got 10x squared and then I have got the next one is minus 3x squared. Remember, you move them with the signs, so the signs are always before the number. Then I've got plus 2x. And then I've got plus 3x. Just collecting the like terms or grouping in this case. I have got minus 12 and I have got plus 9. So again, this must not look difficult. You focus on the numbers. We have got 10x squared minus 3x squared. Do not worry with the x squared, focus on 10 and 3. So you take a calculator and you simply say the number is 10 minus 3, which is 7. So you write the 7 there. And then um, you just uh, maintain your, your unknown. So it will be in this case, 7, your unknown there is x squared, just like that. And then again, you've got 2 plus 3, which is 5 and your unknown is simple x minus 12 plus 9 which is negative 3 in this case so that is how you simplify that and this becomes your final answer because you cannot simplify it further do not be tempted now to say uh, 7 plus 5 why because there is nothing common between x squared and x and there is nothing common between x and the number so this is the final version you cannot take it further because x squared and x it means power one these cannot add together 
All right, so don't be tempted now to say seven plus five, you get a 12. This is a misconception as I said, check our uh, the test book that uh, I wrote for mathematics and one for the underdogs. It will give you some rules on addition of algebra, on multiplication, on division and on subtraction. So it will be easier for you not to be tempted to find yourself wanting to add this feather. This is the final answer. Now, as I said, this was the last question. It was a short question on question number two. It was out of eight marks. And with what the examiners wanted from you, they wanted to check your foundation of addition, multiplication, and subtraction of algebra. And if you were having a solid foundation or a good foundation, the eight marks was just a given. We have come to the end of our question number two. Thank you.